Kudzi, export retentions were increased um, and were pegged at a standardized level of 75% across all sectors of the economy, including for the companies that are listed on the VFX. What does this mean for business? I think um, assuming that there are some companies that have gone to the VFX uh, expecting that incentive or um, hoping to benefit from that incentives, obviously that will come as a, as a, as a disappointment for them. Uh, but when you look at when the uh, VFX was, was first established, that, that part of uh, incentives were not there. They were just they were additional from, 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 uh, from, the, from the Minister of, uh, of Finance and as well as the RBZ. But uh, the, the bulk of the incentives that were on the, on the, on the VFX, they are, still, they are still there. And I think um, also remember that they were applying to incremental exports. But now they're saying all your exports, you benefit 75%. So it's actually, I think it's actually a, a, a fair, a fair and, and, and good move because um, in the past, 60% was being uh, liquidated at, uh, at, at, at the auction rate, and then the incremental part, that's what you were benefiting from. But now we are saying even the, they've, they've increased the, 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 the retention ratio to 75%. So I think it's still a win-win uh, situation for exporters that are, are, are on the VFX. Um, and, and you work on that perhaps this could encourage um, more exports? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you get to keep more of your of your of your foreign currency, which also helps you in terms of your own investments. It also helps for you to build your own reserves as a company. And I think uh, it, it it was discouraging to some to lose forty percent of your earnings at uh, at a rate that you were not really happy with. But now you are getting to keep a little bit more, which you can then exchange as and when you as and when you want. Which is I think I think it's positive um, overall. Um. Do, um, I'll, I'll, I'll throw this one to you. The foreign exchange retention on domestic sales and the foreign currency was reviewed to 85% effective the 1st of February 2022. What does this mean um, for Forex uh, local transactions? Uh, well, I think it's positive development, positive news, which will encourage obviously a lot of uh, uh, transactions in, in, in foreign currency. But of course, I think the expectation was that that threshold could have been increased even more uh, but anyway we uh, even that at five percent I think it, it's positive to have a it's, it's a good incentive really to incentivize more foreign currency uh, transactions um, and Percy um, as we draw toward the close toward the close there was um, a revision in terms of the statutory um, reserves would you want to shed more light on that and what was the rationale behind that the the, the statutory reserves yes um, the current statutory reserve uh, was zero percent or the the growth in the statutory reserve uh, in terms of uh, uh, reserve money was zero percent but uh, what we have uh, realized is uh, the reserve money per se is not uh, very effective currently in actual fact, the Reserve Bank has reached the limit in terms of uh, the extent to which reserve money uh, has been used to tighten the, the monetary policy. So what you have seen is the extension of uh, the monetary anchor or measures that are used to uh, tighten monetary policy to the management of the exchange rate and uh, other measures. But effectively what that means is reliance on what we call the reserve money or narrow money uh, is proved to be now less potent as we continue tight. We cannot continue tightening and tightening. There's an extent to which you can tighten. Beyond that, I think that's why we are also concentrating on the broad money, which is uh, the M3, because it's beyond what is within the capacity of Reserve Bank, which is the narrow money or, or reserve money. Uh, so the cocktail of measures, including the gold coins you are talking about, they are coming to complement the tightening measures. So you talked about gold coins being used uh, to mop up liquidity. 